Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to migrate or move contained database to a different server, SQL Server, and connect to contained database. One of the property of contained database is that uh, when you move database from one server, SQL Server, to another SQL Server, you don't have to have a login. Contained database do not need to have a SQL Server login in order for users to connect to contained databases. So this is what we're going to do. If you don't know how to create a contained database, how to create a user contained uh, database user, please watch my videos. Um, and uh, in this particular video, we're going to go ahead and migrate that uh, database from one server where I have created the contained database, I have created the contained user, and I'll show you in a second. And uh, we're gonna move it to a different server and see uh, without creating a login if we can connect to that database. So here's my SQL server right here. And um, it, right here is my contained database. If you just click on that database and you see right here containment type is partial that means this database is contained database so we're gonna go ahead and uh, let me show you where the contained user is contained user right here in security and let me show you real quick that it doesn't have any login go to security logins as you can see there is no such login as contained user so this database has its own user uh, and we can connect to this database without uh, SQL Server login. So what I'm going to do is migrate this database to another server and uh, then restore that database to uh, that server and try to connect with that database. So I'm going to go ahead and backup and restore. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on backup and I will go ahead and right here is my Tech Brothers client C data, my uh, contained database. BAK, this is where I'm going to take a full backup and move the database. If you don't know how to add your uh, location, you can click on add and uh, add the location. I have used the UNC path to move the database. You need to have permission on C and uh, uh, data and on that particular destination server in order to do what I am doing right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. As you can see, my database backup is completed. So I am going to go ahead and connect with instance, that instance, TBS client SQL mirror, as you can see right here. Now, um, in order for us to be able to um, restore the contained database on a destination SQL server, that SQL server needs to be configured um, to uh, accept the contained database and uh, contain containment needs to be configured on SQL Server. So I'm going to show you right now by default it's not configured. If you right click on the SQL Server, go to the advanced and up here, uh, if you look at here, right here, it says false. So I'm going to reproduce this error that let's say we keep the containment uh, type of the server false and see if we can restore the database some of the one of my user really um, Was into that if I can quickly reproduce the errors uh, and uh, then uh, correct the error so that they can look at the resolution if they run into that So I'm trying to uh, keep up that practice. So let's go ahead and restore the database And I'm gonna click on device go to Right here, it, I have put in C data. As you can see, my containment contained database. Click OK and go to Files. Um, keep in mind that uh, Restore up here um, and Original. If you look at the original, let me show you the original path to MDF and LDF. It says uh, um, MS SQL right here, SQL PRD. So that is original, but this is a new server. So we do need to basically um, do this uh, particular path, change this path. So we're gonna, so it won't give us the error that this path doesn't exist. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy the MDF and LDF names, and I'm going to go ahead. And if you click on here, it, this this is the error. It shows that if we go went ahead, if we have gone ahead and uh, tried to restore it, it, we would have gotten this particular error. So we're going to click OK and we're going to go ahead and put in data this MDF 
and we're going to do the same thing with our LDF. Okay, and we're going to put in the same folder. Okay, so I'm expecting right now that um, well, let's click on option and overwrite if this database exists. So I'm expecting that it's going to fail because it's going to tell us that this particular instance of SQL Server is not configured to accept the contained database. So let's click OK. As you can see, we got the error. And up here, the error is SP configure value contained database authentication is not configured on this particular server. So let's click OK and go ahead and configure that. Go to properties, go to advanced, and up here, we're going to uh, change it false to true. Click OK. And we're going to go ahead and retry our um, restore. So we're going to go ahead and just so that we can get option OK, we're going to go ahead and do that and click OK. All right, as you can see, the database might contain restored successfully. Let's take a look. And as you can see, my contained database is right here. And let's see if the user came along with it. Right here is contained user. So, and let me quickly show you that there's no login. That's, let me refresh this. That's called contained user. So we're gonna go ahead and try to connect with the Tech Brothers client SQL mirror and try to connect with that particular database and see if it works. So we're gonna go ahead and connect, connect with Mirror and we're gonna go ahead since that is a SQL Server um, user. This is my contained, this is SQL Server user. Don't let it fool you that it's a login as we saw that there wasn't any login. Since this is a SQL Server user, we have to click on C SQL Server authentication and provide the password. So we're gonna go ahead and type the password. And try to click on option. And right here, uh, if if the, I have done this before, that's why it's showing me my contained database. Uh, uh, if you're doing the first time, you will see this option default right here. And you need to change that to your contained database. Otherwise, it will give you error that login doesn't exist. Uh, let's try to do that real quick. And I'm gonna try to click, as you can see, login failed for user contained user because login doesn't exist so now we go ahead and change to my contained database DB and try to connect now and as you can see it's connected successfully and let's go in the databases right here it's gonna take a moment to show As you can see that it is connected with my contained database if we expand this is only database that is it is connected so basically this is how this is what the beauty of contained databases is that you don't need SQL Server login and this is not just about SQL Server login any uh, dependency that is a server dependency on a normal database when you create a normal database on SQL Server instance and dependency gets created such as metadata in master database in contained databases that doesn't happen they they're isolated from other databases. They're isolated from SQL Server instance. So uh, this is how you do that. I hope this video helps.